Uh, Keith, do you still have that tweet that uh, Alyssa Milano yes. tweeted? The, was it yesterday she uh, tweeted this? Let's see, on Sunday. <laughs> okay. On Sunday. So Sunday she is still thinking Joe Biden's doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. Here it is verbatim. All right. I'm mm. proud of POTUS mm. and the incredible job he's doing. Mm. He's the <laughs> right person for the job in this moment in <laughs> history. Hashtag I stand with Biden. Wow. Could there be a statement? Any more ridiculous than that one? Could you say something more but stupid than what she just said? <laughs> I don't know that you could. The colossal failure of Joe Biden in every aspect of his presidency. It's unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. You start at the border. Uh, the border is worse than it's ever been. And even, I mean, according to... Even according to their sensibilities on the left, it's not good because unaccompanied children, that whole situation is worse than under Trump, and the media went ape crap over that. Uh, now it's worse. So the border's a mess. The economy, we have a labor shortage sh such that businesses are shutting down. They can't even staff their shifts. The worst inflation in decades... We've got shortages of goods and services in the United States of America, like a third world nation. He canceled the Keystone pipeline. He canceled drilling uh, in Alaska. He's taken us from energy independence, which we had achieved for the first time in 60 years, to being energy dependent again. His handling of Cuba is despicable. We had an incredible opportunity there to help Cuba experience some freedom and get out from underneath the oppression of their communist regime. Nope. Nope. Didn't extend a single hand to help them out. In fact, we did quite the opposite. People who were trying to float over here on, uh, on rafts and uh, pickup trucks, <laughs> we, we sent them back or sent them somewhere else. Geez, gas prices have spiked. They're the highest they've been in decades, in a decade at least. You got that whole scandal with, with his son Hunter that gets worse every day, and they find another computer uh, about every other week. You got his sexual assault allegations that have never been, uh, that have, have, have never been taken care of. The media continues to just ignore Tara Reid and everybody else who was ever harassed by him. I mean, you had that little girl admit that Joe Biden pinched her nipple and nobody cared about that. Nobody cared. You got the cognitive decline that is happening every day right before our very eyes. And of course, then there's Afghanistan, the worst military disaster in American history. And shaping up to be the biggest foreign policy disaster in American history. On what has he done well? What is there to be proud of with a record like this? So far, he is very much on track to be the worst president in the history of the United States of America. And as we said last week, I mean, even some of CNN's anchors and reporters have bailed on him. They can't carry his water because, as I said last week, there's no way you can carry an ocean. You just can't carry an ocean. Little too much water there to carry. He is an absolute disaster, a catastrophe in, in, on every issue. So, I don't, I don't know what presidency she's talking about, but it I mean, certainly isn't the same one I'm looking at. 